welcome to another episode of Trila, where Pierre and I will take you to some of our favorite spots or new discoveries around Macau. In today's episode, we are actually going to explore Rua dos Kulish, which is located across Senado Square and is essentially known as the unofficial Filipino street in Macau. Okay, so let's see what kind of Filipino snacks we can find. Let's go. There's a reason why this street is unofficially known as the Filipino street in Macau. Nearly every successful Filipino-owned establishment are located here. Here you find groceries, restaurants, bakeries, beauty salons, fashion boutiques, you name it, they have it. Anything that is aimed to target the local Filipino community, you find it here. One of the OGs that started it all, and people can probably argue with me, but it is this very store, the Anak Bakery Store. Pierre and I are here today to grab one of their very famous pandesal. Now this store right here, I remember it used to be a grocery store. It seems like it's a different thing now. It's apparently Lutumbahai, which is a Filipino cuisine restaurant. Let's see what they have here. I'm hungry, so I ordered a bunch of different things from different shops. So we got some ube pandesal right here, which is from the OG Anak Bakery. We got some barbecue, some chicharron bulaklak, and some Filipino siomai. So we're gonna go eat it. Alright, so let's show you guys what we got here. We didn't really buy a lot because uh, most of the stuff that we found there were like cooked meals or like proper food like lunch or dinner. These are the street food snacks or snacks that we found. So, oof. Okay. First one right here is a Filipino version of a siomai or shawmai in Tagalog. Oh, that smells good. So the Filipino way of eating siomai is that we dip it in soy sauce. I think that has a little bit of soy sauce in there as well. And I don't really know what kind of sauce it is. There's like garlic. Yeah, fried garlic in here. Okay, we'll try that in a little bit. And then I bought some barbecue. This is pork barbecue. And then she gave me suka, which is vinegar. So this is supposed to be a dipping sauce for the barbecue. I thought it smells good. Oh, so it has some onions and some garlic as well. Pepper, black pepper, and yeah, vinegar right there. Okay, we have some ube pandesal. This is a staple right here. So a traditional pandesal is white. It's just plain bread. And it came from the Spanish word, well, pandesal is a Spanish term. It means salted bread. Pandesal, bread of salt, so salted bread. This is a very popular type of bread in the Philippines. And this is ube flavor. This is usually sold out at a Nak Bakery store, but we got lucky today that they had a few left on the shelf. So Pierre got some for us. And the best part about this is that inside, okay, uh, it's a bit, it's messy, kind of messy. There's cheese inside. This is better eaten hot. Right now it's already cold, but this is better eaten hot because the cheese melts in your mouth and it's just so good. I'm gonna have a first bite right now. Okay, sorry, I couldn't help myself. I just had to bite. And then we have some chicharron bulaklak. So a typical chicharron is pork skin, but chicharron bulaklak is different because it is um, pork intestines. Oh, it's good. I think this is good with this dipping sauce. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that is better with the vinegar. Mm. This is the kind of food that you eat when you're drinking with your friends. It's called pulutan. Okay, let's go and try the barbecue. It's a bit chewy, but it tastes good. It's not that salty. Pandasal is a typical Filipino breakfast food. Whenever we're in the Philippines, you would hear street vendors yelling out pandasal early in the morning, and you know it's time to get up. Uh, I made such a mess here already. Okay, not that one. Alright, so these are just some of the stuff that we found today. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of other things that you can find in the Filipino street. So go and explore the area. Anyway, I can't finish all of these, so we're gonna keep some of them. Pierre's gonna eat some of them off camera. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye.